Welcome back, everybody. So as you're gonna see in the time lapse coming up, uh, we got a lot done today. So let's take a look at what we've accomplished. Stop, stop. I do have water pump spacers coming tomorrow. Um, they're three quarter. So we'll see where that kind of puts everything. Um, these tubes should still fit inside of them. So I might just have to sink these really far into the three quarter spacers and then weld them solid there and have them like flush to the back. That'll be fine. Cause the like, gasket goes in the back side anyways. Um, we'll do both of those and then these will be removable which just makes life a little easier. Um, it's still pulling the motor plate, but it's the same thing as a water pump with this setup, so it doesn't change a whole lot. The only difference is I don't have to fully remove the motor plates in order to get to things back there. Um, I did have, I don't think I have it on there now. I did put a pulley on there to figure out the angle. I made some changes to a few things. Um, I tried adding like a spacer in this first section. Didn't really like it. it it put the 90 where I wanted it, like the face, but it didn't, it moved it too far back and I wasn't happy. But if you look from here, like that that gap there is great. Um, that's probably gonna get coated at some point, which will keep a lot of the heat out of stuff. Everything else is going to the back, so radiator and all that stuff's in the rear. So we should be good there. We have the entire downpipe all the way to the bumper, welded and ready to go. I've got that piece just kind of in there to kind of give you an idea. Um, I'm gonna suck that in, but I think I'm gonna cut that material there um, and I'll probably cut that material back a little bit and put a V-band in there so that that's tighter, but we'll be able to angle it. It'll rotate on the V-band. Um, that'll make it to where at the track we can have it up and then if I'm street driving or something, I'll be able to just, you know, do one of those so it's not blowing people's faces and everything like that, but we are. So that's a pre-existing weld, which was not very good, but everything else looks pretty decent. Your boy's not mad at it. All right, everybody. So I'm working on putting the nose back together. You can see me in the corner there. Oh, look at the, look at the pipe. Um, so this is currently just on the expansion fit. I did end up cutting the pipe in the car. Two reasons. One, if I add the V-band, I can take more material off this to cut it in tighter, further. I can add a piece if I need to, but this gave me a better idea of where I want it to be. Um, I also wanted to be able to, if I put a 180 on here, obviously I'll have to do some, a rough trim, take a section of it off first to have it come up. That might be the other option is, this is the 90, and you can see, it still kind of comes out in an angle and puts away, which I don't mind, so when we rotate it like this, it points it away from the car, but it's very far up. Um, if I measure it, there it is. Of course it's under the chair. So, Yeah, we're about eight inches off. We're about eight inches off the car, um, which I don't really like. How far it is? I'd rather be tighter to the car. Um, I do have a wheel on this side installed, so I can check clearance. Which everything was built with the tire at full tuck and turned all the way to the left, so full lock to the left. Um, 
this this angle. Not a bad angle. I like that it points away from the car. I don't like how far it sticks off the car. So that's going to require some some fitting adjustments. And with the slip fit, I'm right about on the bend that goes up. Which means I'm not going to be able to go in much further. So I think with a 180. We got one of those, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so from the 180, it would have to sit in there kind of like so, and it would come through the bumper. Um, but what I can do is Essentially, like not cut it in half because again, I don't want 90 up top. Come up the radius some more and cut it uh, probably, you know, up in here ish so that when it's like this, it's just a little more level. Uh, and then I can adjust this section in to slide in or out of the car as I need it. Uh, and like I said, if you put a V then then I'll have it where it can rotate the other direction, jump down, jump up the track, whatever, but that'll be off. Probably one of these. Because, like I said, I don't think you try it. Try it while I'm having the thought. Right. Probably not. Oh, this will sort of explain what all I was talking about. So, I mean, that would probably give me a pretty good starting point there. Oh, you guys can't see, hold on. Let me this way. Let me just, ooh, ooh, ooh. all right. So what I'm thinking is probably right about where that bumper piece sits is about where I'd make my rough cut. Um, and that would allow me to be able to rotate this up because clearly I mean, we're sticking all the way under the bumper. So I can't, ooh. Um, I can't rotate this to fit it right the second. Um, it looks like it probably go in a little more, which already looks significantly cut tighter to the body. So I definitely think this is gonna be the route that I go in order to get a better distribution and a better placement. Um, but that whole thing's done. It's in there, it's secure. I do plan to I'm gonna probably take a piece of this excess that I've got, one of the old slip fits that's just laying around, um, and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna basically cut a section out, straighten it out, um, and then I'll make a uh, tabby out of this stuff. Because I mean, it's pretty thick, but what it'll do is it'll basically just go from the side of this pipe to the frame rail, or the front of the pipe to the frame rail, to a ribbon nut and get bolted in so the exhaust can't bounce around. I think that's the plan. But that's gonna do it for today. Depending on how long the time lapse is, will depend if we have more tomorrow or not when I come in to do these, um, cause those just need two quick, at least tack welds. I need to at least tack weld them, get them back on the car, make sure everything fits still, everything clears. If not, I gotta send them probably to work and have someone uh, know them down for me, but I think in my brain it works, so we'll see. But that's it for today. What's up, everybody? All right, we are clearly back in the garage. Um, it's football Sunday, so I haven't been up here a whole lot. I came up for like a half hour or so, um, but we did receive our spacers in today. Uh, and what I've done while I was up here, clearly the intake's missing. We have the motor supported up so that the motor plates could be unbolted and rebolted so that I could get the spacers in there. But I've got everything fitting real nice, so let me check. So obviously it's not welded. Um, I have to still fully weld it. What I'm gonna do is mark these um, and then I'm actually going to weld them probably from the inside. I need to drill a hole where this goes to make sure that this inner pipe is cleared so we can run the steam port vent back there. But everything else is good. We've got clearance there, obviously not a ton. But we have clearance, the exhaust is in, bolted up. So we're good there. Um, like I said before, just gonna weld some fittings on here and then this will run down around there. 
I'm pretty sure the alternator is gonna get low mounted on this side uh, for simplicity purposes. But that's gonna do it for this week's video. I know it's not a super long video. Sometimes I don't have a ton of time to work on this thing and we just do what we can do. But as always, oh, you know what, you know what? Hold on, let me show you something. Since the intake's off and on Sloppy Mechanics, everyone said, I went into the car. This, this does not go inside of the car. Let me show you inside of the car. Let me show you under here. No charge pipe. It does not come through the car. It just stays under this wiper cowl where there used to be wipers. Clearly I don't have the wipers anymore. And it just goes a nice 180 right in here. So does not enter the cabin, it stays here. Um, some other comments were that this pipe was pretty close to this piece of tubing. Um, one thing I am going to do is I'm gonna end up cutting the end of the bottom of this off and adding another section that's a little longer. Um, Cause that will move it a little further away from this pipe here. But I mean, everything had clearance. Uh, if I take this and just, you know, rough place it here, I can show you guys. So we got a good amount of clearance there. A great amount of clearance there. So like, this is essentially the finish point that I want for, it's got a solid, about two inches, inch and a half of clearance everywhere. Um, and then eventually these pipes will get coated, which will keep the heat off the charge pipe because obviously that's the pipe that comes right off the inner cooler. Um, but that's gonna do it for this week. As always, comment, like, share, subscribe, get up, get after.